The Global Wind Atlas is a web-based application developed to help policymakers and investors identify potential high wind areas for wind power generation virtually anywhere in the world, and perform preliminary calculations. It provides free access to data on wind power density and wind speed at multiple heights using the latest historical weather data and modeling, at an output resolution of 250 meters. It was developed and is maintained by the Wind Energy Department of the Technical University of Denmark DTU Wind Energy in partnership with the World Bank, with funding provided by the Energy Sector Management Assistance Program ESMAP. History The original version of the Global Wind Atlas GWA was developed by DTU Wind Energy under the framework of the Clean Energy Ministerial and, in particular, the SEM Working Group on Solar and Wind Technologies, led by Germany, Spain and Denmark. The Technology Development and Demonstration Program of the Danish Energy Agency EUDP funded GWA 1.0 as the Danish contribution to the objectives of the Working Group. GWA 1.0 was launched in 2015, and benefited from collaboration with the International Renewable Energy Agency and the Mazda Institute. The IRENA Global Atlas of Renewable Energy created a dedicated platform to serve GWA 1.0 data to a worldwide audience. In early 2017, DTU Wind Energy entered into discussions with ESMAP at the World Bank to update and improve the Global Wind Atlas, and bring it into line with the Global Solar Atlas that was launched by the World Bank in January 2017. Utilizing funding provided under ESMAP's existing initiative on renewable energy resource assessment and mapping, the company Vortex FDC was commissioned to carry out a global mesoscale wind energy modeling exercise at 9 km resolution. This data was provided to DTU Wind Energy for further microscale modeling, initially down to 1 km resolution. In November 2018 a new version of the Global Wind Atlas GWA was launched by DTU Wind Energy and the World Bank at the Wind Europe 2018 conference in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, based on a completely redesigned user interface developed by the company Nazca Maps. Following further modeling work, a new version of the microscale modeling data was released in July 2018 GWA bringing the resolution down to 250 meters. This was followed by a further release in September 2018 GWA 2.2 that included a number of improvements to the user interface, a new tool for preparing and downloading poster maps, and various bug fixes. The most recent release, in November 2018 GWA 2.3 introduced three capacity factor layers, new wind roses, and improved calculation of power density, and the ability to download GIS files, among other features. Topic. Methodology The Global Wind Atlas is based on a coupling of mesoscale to microscale modeling. The mesoscale modeling carried out by Vortex uses ERA interim meteorological reanalysis data provided by the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasts. While tools such as the Global Wind Atlas can provide useful data to support planning and initial site scoping, they are no replacement for the more detailed analysis needed when evaluating actual wind farm projects. Topic. Outputs and usage In addition to the data available via the Global Wind Atlas website, users may also download poster maps, GIS data, and generalized wind climate files for use in commercial wind resource assessment software such as WASP. GIS data from the Global Wind Atlas is available via the IRENA Global Atlas for Renewable Energy, and has been included as the core wind data in the Read Screen software. It is used by governments, renewable energy developers, and academics, and has an average of 7,500 unique users per month as of October 2018. External links Global Wind Atlas Global Solar Atlas ENERGYDATA. Info Topic. See also Wind resource assessment Wind power